<laughs> I love what we talk about doing the breaks. I have <laughs> no recollection of anything else but what we talk about doing the break. Yes, and we so... didn't. Even, we, did, we spent this whole break on one thing. <laughs> <laughs> Look, everybody, 855-TEL-TLS. The phone lines are open at this moment. Or text me at 443-642-9403. Oh, I got a little chair to hold my phone up, too. Um, what I was going to say. Oh, what we were talking about right before we went to the break. Yes. The 30,000 yeah. people that was evicted. I was saying um, to Nicole that perhaps... You know, it probably was like a guilty by association thing that <laughs> because she was kicked off. He, the guy that was, you know, trying to hook up with her was kicked off, too. He was a part of the 30,000. Ugly, no ugly. I told you that right, in the beginning. Of, we started ugly knows ugly. They probably got kicked off together. So she might be about to go through all this makeover and, and, get, back on the site. and get back on the site. And he, he ain't, ain't going to be on. there. <laughs> Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I was just thinking too, watching um, basketball wives, mm. Mm. <laughs> and I looked at Nicole. And I was like, you know who she looked like? Uh, what's her name? Jennifer. Jennifer. You know who she looked like? Did y'all ever watch the TV show? Chippendale, Chippendale Rescue, Rescue Rangers. Rangers. She looked just like Gadget, the female mouse. <laughs> <laughs> and so we went on this quest of googling yes the uh, picture i'm ex- just looking at the picture identical and identical i think eye color and everything wow she looks like this cartoon mouse mm, 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 mm. check it out if you want i wonder if anybody else have told her that she looks like gadget <laughs> hack wrench <laughs> <laughs> i had to find out her name and everything Matter of fact, you know her name. Mm. Get ready to tweet it. I'm getting ready to post a picture with them two next to each other. Oh my goodness! On Facebook. Mm. Oh yeah. Oh boy. I gotta get some pics. Go, t- tune into our Facebook page, facebook.com forward slash tl dot show, and you'll see exactly this one right here with our name next to it too. Oh, did she do got new pictures? Yeah, she said she had them, but um, she didn't leak them. She leaked them. I mean, really, the people that always say they don't leak stuff, you did it on purpose. You did it on a cell phone that is downright a Wi-Fi phone, first of all. By it being Wi-Fi, anybody can hack in and grab it. I don't know why you would put some pictures like that on your cell phone anyway. It's a cell phone with Wi-Fi connectability. Anything that's like that, anybody, all they need to know, all they need to have is your location, really, that they can go bring their Wi-Fi thing close to your house and download the information off your phone. If they're good enough, they'll get it. That's true. So for you to have these on your cell phone... I wouldn't even be mad though. You have a nice body, mm-hmm. although fake, but nice. <laughs> she did that shit. I'm the, she <laughs> she it. She's a lying whore. <laughs> She's a, a lying gag, gadget accurate. <laughs> you look at mother, mother. <laughs> she did it. Now you go try to blame it on what's the other little one name? Royce. She can't blame that on Royce. Even if Royce did it. No, Royce didn't do it. Royce said that she believed that she did it. Oh. Mm-hmm. Royce, I'm on your team. You look like a mouse, too, by the way. Yeah. I can't think of which one. I'm, I'm, I don't know why Gargamel pop, popped in my head. Wow. Whoa. <laughs> Gargamel. Gargamel popped in my head, but I don't think that's who you look like. Mm. <laughs> Not on a daily basis. Um, I don't know what I want to talk about. Oh, okay, Remy Ma. Y'all remember Remy Ma? Do we? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. the um, female rap artist that got sent to prison. Um, she's serving an eight-year sentence for shooting Makeda Barnes, um, Joseph, in uh, a monetary dispute. Well, she has a... Um, 
she was denied an appeal, but her parole hearing will be in 2014 with eligibility date of January 13, um, 31st, 2015. So maybe she'll be released then, but she's going to be bad. She's, I would label her a has been by then. She's a has been now. That's what I mean. But right. when she comes out, <clears throat> if she even tries, you're a has been. Right. There's, and there's no coming back. Come yeah. back, get married, have some kids. She's at the New York, um, New York's Bedford Hills Correctional Facility for Women. Mm. It says the former terror squad spitter is scheduled to be released in 2016. But she is hoping that her parole board will allow her to be set free one year early. <laughs> you might as well stay. Pretty much. I mean, mm. why go for parole a year before? So if you get in trouble, you're right back in, right. serving your the rest of that time plus whatever else plus, is tacked on. Exactly. I would want to be free. If I get in trouble, <clears throat> it'll just be that new charge and not whatever else is left mm. anyway let's take a break I want to talk about Russell Simmons and Dennis Rodman when we come back after this break stay tuned to Baltimore Exposed Radio All right, I know what I said I wanted to do in this break, but I I, I completely changed my mind after reading this story. Okay. I mean, <laughs> look, an Idaho senator, right, a state senator, he was arrested on Sunday morning for uh, for stealing a car <laughs> from the home of a complete stranger and driving under the influence. <laughs> Mm, John McGee was caught trying to back the stolen Ford excursion. Now, you know how big those uh, are. Oh, my goodness. And the cargo trailer. So it had an attachment on it into a neighbor's backyard in the Boise area of Atta, um, Atta County. The 38-year-old um, the thirty-eight year old Republican caucus chairman was booked into um, jail at 427 in the morning after police found that he had a blood alcohol content of, one, of 0.15. That's almost twice Idaho's legal limit. Now, uh, McGee said he did not know the owner and he was unclear on why he was in the area in the first place. Okay, now you was mm, uh, you was effed up. He said, um, the, the officer said that he said nobody uh, nobody knows why he was there. It doesn't sound like he did either. Uh, <laughs> Joe Carlton, the neighbor of the vehicle's owner, said he became aware of McGee when the senator got stuck trying to turn the rig around. He said, I was awakened by the sound of my kids screaming that there is somebody in the backyard. <laughs> the senator go, um, got out of the excursion after it um, got stuck in and began walking down up and down the street. He later returned and fell asleep in the SUV's back seat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he was messed up. He was Colton said that when he woke up McGee, the senator told him that <laughs> <laughs> he was looking for the promised land. <laughs> The, um, call to the neighbor. The call to the neighbor said, "I thought he was kidding when he told me his name, because we told him that he was John McGee, state senator. McGee was expected to be arraigned Monday afternoon, so this afternoon he's probably still there in the drunk tank. Wow. Maybe he's home now, but I'm sure this is ground. I mean, Weiner got." Fired, or he, you know, he resigned, he resigned he because he, he he showed his penis. So this man stole someone's car, got drunk, brought it back with the sleep in it, scared the kids, you know. So he has to resign. I don't even think you can have a legal um a record when you're in those kind of positions, though. You're not supposed to. Oh gosh! How crazy is that? 
I wish I could remember everything that I think about when I'm on break. Because I sit back and I rock in my chair and I don't. And it, when we, as soon as we get back on the radio, I forget everything. Yeah. It just goes right out the window. Do you own a rush card? No. Have you ever owned one? I have. I never. I got one. I didn't activate it. Oh, okay. Yeah. See, I had. I had one probably four years ago when they first came out. I had, you know. Mm-hmm. I, I did it when they first came out too. I ordered the baby fat card, the pink one. No, I got the black one. Because <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was pretty. Right. It, it was, was prettier it than was, the black rush yeah, card. Yeah, it was. Pretty. So I ordered the pink one, the you know pretty one, and then I had the um, Hello Kitty one. Oh, okay. And. I thought it was cool at the time. Like, okay, this is this is good for people right. that can't get real credit cards. Right. Uh, not me, because I had like three real right. ones plus the two. Because I thought that was a way for me to just put money over to the side and never use it again. Um, but yeah, I found out. And I'm, I'm just co-signing with this article because I I believe it. I mean, because you could possibly have um, thirty transactions in a day, and that's thirty dollars. Right. Because they charged, uh, you know, when I had my card, I don't know what they do today, but this um, article that I'm reading is that Rush Card, Russell Simmons' Rush Card is being investigated over hidden fees. When I had my card, if I could use that card 30 times a day, they would charge me $30, a dollar per transaction. Wow. Now, that's what I remember. Now, I, I've i never seen anybody's credit card company charge them the say for instance, I use yeah per transaction. That's what they say. The subpoenas have been issued to Russell Simmons Rush Card and four other prepaid companies by the Florida Attorney General's office, who is investigating whether the card companies are focus are forcing their users into paying hidden fees on every purchase. Florida's Attorney General Pam Bondi, through the Economic Crimes Division, is looking into whether these. Uh, banking companies dupe their card owners by promising to help raise their credit score. Check yourself before you wreck yourself. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that had nothing to do with the story. First Data Corporation, Green Dot Corporation account now incorporated and Net Spin Corporation along with Uni Rush Financial Services LLC were named in the subpoena. Since the court order was issued, reps for Rush have released a statement uh, which reads, Rush is a solution for people who want affordable financial services that they can customize to, uh, to suit their needs. As I look at payments landscapes, I see banks as, as the large record chains, and my Rush card is looking a lot more like iTunes. I welcome the public debate because the more educated the consumers are, the more successful we become. Mm. That doesn't. I, I don't know what I just read. I'm sorry. <laughs> it sounds like a whole bunch of nothing. Yeah, the Rush Card site claims their um, car owners pay less than half of the fees that most banking institutions are charged. Right. Mm. That's what I don't believe. I, I mean, I don't know because I don't. I haven't used a Rush Card. I cut that last one up. I think I still had like two dollars on it. But I could never go anywhere because if I bought something for a dollar, my other dollar would be gone. Right. So I left it on there. Maybe it'll gain interest. <laughs> <laughs> so I left it there. No, it doesn't gain interest. It doesn't. Matter of fact, I think I still might have that card, but what the hell? Right. I'll never get that $2. Mm-mm. <sighs> anyway, we're going to take a break. When we come back, there's more TLS right here at Baltimore Exposed Radio 855-TEL-TLS. I don't understand. I don't understand. I want you to clear it up for me right at this moment. We're going to take this break for you to clear it up. How did that happen? Um, I was listening to the song, you know. Oh, come on, no shit. And then, you know, basketball wives came on. Mm. Yeah. Your job is here. That was reckless. It was very reckless. <laughs> reckless. It was obscene. Yeah. Like the situation that we're going to talk about now. <laughs> Um, 934 right here on Baltimore Exposed Radio. You are listening to the Talk Lately Show. We are live here until 10 o'clock, and then I have to go. But <laughs> in the meantime, the phone lines are... <laughs> I think I'm getting a tickle. 
Is it the rum punch? Maybe. Let's see. No, it wasn't bad. Were live sound effects. That was live. <laughs> you just got it live. That was no button, nothing. That was live. I oh, know. That was pretty good. Mm. <laughs> All right, look. Trader Joe's. Do we have a Trader Joe's here? Mm-hmm. Where? I know that there's one out housing. Oh, okay. Because I've never been there. I think I should um, go check it out to see what these yeah, people are going there, through. But I- well, apparently Trader Joe's in New York is the place not to go to if you don't want to get in a fist fight. Okay. Two moms on a hunt for a frozen Thai food dinner wow. got into an altercation when the husband found one one of the remaining last remaining dinners and went to go get it. Um, somebody else's mother was looking for it too. Now, from what I'm reading here is that the mother went and tried to take it from the husband and the other mother got upset the son of the other mother of mother one stood in front of mother two like no this is my mother's gonna get this one or whatever whatever mother two um was just like no 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 you know they was arguing back and forth and then uh, mother one slapped mother two wow I so saw they're being sued. <laughs> Amber's all of that. Somebody's being over sued. Over Thai food. Does it say what they um were fighting over? Because we need to go find it. Over that. the frozen food. I mean, but did it say exactly like Thai, Pad Thai with peanut sauce? Because we need to look for it. Because if it's that. It must be that damn good. Right. I don't know. I don't like Thai food because it smells just too much like curry. And curry makes me want to vomit. Oh. So I'll pass. I like, I like Pad Thai. Pad Thai. It's a I thought you said bad Thai. No, Pad Thai is a noodle and they make it. It's like a rice noodle. It's I like, like it. no. I like it. It's one of those weird things. Let's not talk I... about this ever on the show again. Okay. Yeah. Mm. You don't like, yeah, no yeah. Thai. <laughs> <laughs> like Indian food. Yeah. <laughs> mm. Just thinking about how. Okay. Mm, how All in- right. Next story. Most Please. Indians live. No, okay, no. <laughs> Next story. Not American Please, Indians, no. but mm-hmm. India in the country period. <laughs> they don't have toilets. <laughs> <laughs> they go to the bathroom through a hole in the floor. <sighs> Is there more? <laughs> 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 Don't laugh at him, please. Okay, I'm sorry. I completely agree with the Advertising Standards Authority when they say that um, Kraft Foods and Cadbury Chocolate will not be seeing any action against or, or from Naomi Campbell. And they do not, they determine, here's their written response, the ASA said it did not intervene in matters of poor taste and ruled the ad was likely to be understood to refer to Naomi Campbell's reputation for diva style behavior rather than race. On this basis, the council has decided that the ad was unlikely to be seen as racist or cause a serious widespread offense. I absolutely agree. Yes, I do too. Cause I got it. Yeah, it said I think everybody diva. got it except for her. Yeah. Well, who yeah. cares about what she, you look like? You do, but <laughs> that's about it. You are like fifty? Yeah, she's she's. Trying. The only person older than you she's is Regine. To stay- <laughs> <laughs> you know, some more sister. <laughs> <laughs> That is the oh, only man. person older. <clears throat> oh my goodness. Alright, that was the. F- <laughs> <laughs> oh goodness, I'm sorry. Look, 
Look at this, look how drastic this is. A lady, she wanted to have sex with her ex-husband, her ex-boyfriend, but, well, I guess the ex-boyfriend asked her to have sex. She agreed. But she set in place this elaborate scheme to get this point across. A, a man told police he was attacked by two people wielding nunchucks and throwing stars after he showed up for what he thought was a sexual rendezvous with his ex-girlfriend. <laughs> the 44-year-old called police after getting jumped around 1.15 in the morning in the alley off of whatever avenue. He said he had called his ex-girlfriend and asked her to come over for sex. She agreed. A short time later, Catherine texted the victim that she was, the near, she was in a nearby alley. As the man walked to her car, a masked man jumped out and hit him in the head with a pair of nunchucks. <laughs> she then grabbed the nunchucks herself and hit the man in the head with them as well. <laughs> While investigating the crime, police found two throwing stars, including one stuck in a telephone pole. So somebody threw them. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah. Hi -ya. <laughs> <laughs> she was charged um, with aggravated domestic battery, aggravated battery with unlawful use of weapons, at least it wasn't a gun, and armed violence. Police were um, also seeking a 34 year old man for questioning because he got away. He flipped when out. Was, when they was together, she, he probably made her watch um, karate movies. Mm -hmm. And so she said, But the man that got away, he, you know, he caught well out. Right. Right. <laughs> <laughs> That's why he ninja vanished. <laughs> <laughs> he got away. Chick, you didn't know that move. Mm -mm. He left you there holding the nunchuck Let's swinging. See how you handle she, this. She was still swinging. <laughs> Police, you better watch out. You want to ask me for sex? Look. <laughs> you better watch out, police. <laughs> ninja star. <laughs> they was like, bitch. <laughs> Cover. <laughs> Send her ass off to jail. Oh my! And tag her with um, assault against a with a deadly weapon against the police. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. They got her ass. We're gonna take a break. <laughs> <sighs> it ain't over until it's over. Oh, wow. <laughs> How voice is that? <laughs> <laughs> I can't um, believe that voice. That voice is showing off. <laughs> Um, 50 Cent. <laughs> oh, <laughs> 50 Cent is writing a book, everybody. <laughs> the, the book is going to be about um, bullying. <laughs> <laughs> like, really? Like, really, 50? And you are in the middle of all of the uh, rap, <laughs> you know. I mean, you had something going on with Jay Z. You had something going on with Cameron at one time. You had something going on with um, what's the other one? Um, damn. Did you say Ja Rule? Ja Rule. What's um, his name? The, the other game. one that's on Cameron. Um, click. Joel Santana. Not him. No, Jim Jones. Jim Jones. Jim Jones. Yeah, he had something going on with him. And it's um, always something between you and Jay-Z, which is really, really crazy, because he could care a damn less about you. Uh, but, yeah, as he's going to pen a book, um, picking, you know, Curtis Jackson will be penning a novel titled Playground, which is centered around a 13-year-old bully who finds redemption as he faces what he's done. And it's scheduled to be released on January 2012. I hope this book don't have typos in it. <laughs> Here's what he said. I had a strong desire to, uh, to write Playground because I wanted to explore what, how a kid becomes a bully. See, you know what? <laughs> <laughs> He's writing a manual on how to become a bully. Oh my! Oh. You know what? I read this. I read this beforehand, but I didn't see that part. That part. I think I stopped when I found out that it was fifty writing a book. He is 
writing a manual. I had a strong desire to write Playground because I wanted to explore how a kid becomes a bully. I drew on events from my own childhood and adolescence, but was excited to see the story takes on a life of its own. The book would be um, would have been very helpful for me growing up. <laughs> oh, not to be a better victim. Um, and now that I have a teenage son, it is my goal that this will have a positive influence on all teenagers. That you be the bully. <laughs> oh my god. That's four fails in one story. <laughs> you know what, 50? You are dismissed. Get out of here. Thank Thanks. you. Alright. Y'all want to do some naked wrestling? No. Oh. Mm -mm. Okay. Well, let me tell you about these four high school students who are charged with disorderly conduct after being accused of sexually harassing a younger teammate. Mm. And they entered in a not guilty plea on Monday, today. Uh, the Lincoln High School students are charged with disorderly conduct for a locker room incident involving a freshman wrestler. Okay. Prosecutors say that um, Devin Peterson, Casey Enerson, and... Rylan Lubeck, all 17, as well as 18-year-old Zach Bennett, danced naked in front of the boy and touched him with their genitals. Where do you learn something like this? Where do you, you, I mean, where do you learn something like this? You don't just all... Right. <laughs> Nicole's dancing. Oh, <laughs> Pokey stroke poke. Uh, <laughs> I don't want to do this. I don't. <laughs> but what? when do you pick up something like this? You don't. People just don't feel comfortable like that at adolescence to just stand four people around one dude and just. And nobody thought to say, dude. What are we doing? Dude. What? What? You know how you always, as we grew up, we had those friends that would just come up with some stuff, and everybody else look at them like, the fuck? Right, because I always thought it was one thing to get undressed in front in the locker room. And then I was skeptical about getting, you know, not skeptical about getting undressed, because I'm free from the body. But <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was, um, I was skeptical about using the showers, because I didn't know how they cleaned them. Right. Yeah, I didn't shower at school. And it, I, no. I just couldn't do it. Oh, you dirty. No, that shower was dirty. I couldn't do it. Right. I will be sweaty for the rest of the day. Mm -hmm. I'll flagrantize myself very, very well. How about I just don't perform and all matter that fact, well? How about I, I brought, just don't perform all that well so that I don't have to sweat? Exactly. Because I'm not going to shower afterwards. Exactly. You know? No. No, I, I just... Mm. I, but to... Actually, be in the locker room and just be dangling and, and gyrating and pushing my penis up on, you know, another in a boy four, in a four pack. Yeah, just like mm. we're trying to make a five some. Mm -mm. And he's unwilling. Ew! Move your cock. <laughs> move. Your cock. <laughs> move. Ew! Why are you touching me? Ew! Your cock. But I just don't. I don't get it. It's ew, and then he got his eyes closed. Ooh, get <laughs> Okay, okay, yeah, no, mm -mm. we're not gonna do that. Nope, nope, no. Nope. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> All right, next. That's just move on oh, please, I can't. Please, please. <laughs> Look, I got an update on the guy that was um, detained while trying to catch an airplane from um, New Mexico City. Oh, the, best, the basketball, the basketball player. player. Yeah. Um, well, there's a video now. Um, somebody that was on the plane with him as the, the, uh, the, the, the captain of the plane and somebody that was dressed in a uniform that like a police or security guard was um, asking him questions. But, it, it, you know, listening to the video, it didn't re make really sense because they were asking him while he was sitting down, pull your pants up. 
And he was like, sir, you know, he was doing the right thing. He was like, sir, I don't understand why you're even back here. I'm sitting down now. Everything was taken care of. My pants were falling down because I had bags in my hands. And actually, he was like, actually, they didn't even fall all the way down. All you could see was the top of my boxers. And the people on the plane was like corroborating this. And and he was like, okay, I don't even know why we're still dealing with this. Why is he here? You know, the police officer, why is he here? This is a done, you know, everything is fine. We should be taken off now. I'm just like, okay. Okay, looking at the video like yeah this looks ridiculous right and like you didn't think it just because the plane was full of other mm-hmm. uh, white folk they didn't think you know it seemed like that he thought they weren't going to say anything this is not the 70s this is not the 60s right people talk now and they don't talk just because they're trying to save that race they talk because they're trying to get the publicity they want to be the one that recorded the incident mm-hmm this is the year of media. I mean, this is, you know, the age of media. And this is what we we do. We expose. Yes. Baltimore exposed. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to do that. But, then, you know, I just didn't understand why he thought that, you know, the, the captain thought that this was okay to continue to go on. Right. He said, you know, while sitting in the chair, he quote, I quote him, and he was like, my pants are up, sir. My pants are up, sir. He just kept telling him that. And then he toes and says, I'm not doing anything. I paid my fees. I'm ready to go. He was right. And everything he said, I'm not doing anything. I paid my fees. I'm ready to go. He had a plane ticket. He got on a plane. She, she, and first of all, if she wasn't offended by his boxers, if they weren't dirty or anything like that, she shouldn't have said anything to him. Pretty much. Boxers are just boxers. So what? You can see them. I just, I just don't get the fascination. I, under, I understand the messiness. There's like we were talking about the last time. I understand the messiness of... she's going to lose her job. I understand the messiness of pants hanging down. But there's nothing wrong with boxers. Everybody has them. Everybody wears them. And sometimes women do too. Yes. Sometimes. Sometimes women wear them as, as, as their pajamas. Right. So what is the problem with you visually seeing them? Stop looking at his ass. Because you wouldn't if your eyes wouldn't have been down here, you wouldn't have seen him. Keep look at him in the face. Keep your eyes look off. Look at my me ass in my face. Look at the tickets as the people are walking. Look at me in my face. You was checking out my butt. Was you was checking out my butt. You was checking out my ass. Why you looking at my ass? Osama bin Laden just got on the plane. <laughs> He resurrected. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> so I just didn't get it. I don't get it. I don't respect these people for this. Um, apparently, I, I do believe he was taken off the plane too. Yeah, he was Didn't arrested. I, yeah, yeah. yeah it's did, gonna be a it lawsuit. cut off before the end of that came up. So, and uh, she's gonna lose her job. She's gonna lose her job, and he should he's sue. Gonna, he, th- there's gonna be a lawsuit. Yeah. Because he probably missed whatever appointment he had to be in or whether he was going mm-hmm. home or not. He missed Sunday night dinner. He missed something. All right. And I just don't play those kind of games. Oh, it looks like I'm out of time. Mm-hmm. Yep. All right. What's tomorrow? Tomorrow's true Tuesday. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to decide what I have to tell you tomorrow in truth. Tomorrow. I'll do it tomorrow. As a matter of fact, I'll figure out what it is tonight, and I'll just decide to do something. The phone lines will be open tomorrow, promptly at 8 o'clock at 855-TEL-TLS. You are listening to Baltimore Exposed Radio. Therapy Thursday is going to be interesting this week, too. I think we... Uh, n- no guest? Not as of yet. Okay. We'll work that out by tomorrow. All right. Okay. Then... True Tuesday is all up to us, everybody. The phone line's going to be open. Two hours of talk, 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 talk. <laughs> Bye. Talk, talk. <laughs>